Kalamazoo's Country, 1025. We're joined this morning by Jennifer Fotman, the Executive Director for Safe Place. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Hey, thanks for taking some time to talk with us today. My pleasure, Bobby. Domestic violence in the headlines, in the news a lot lately with what's going on in the NFL. Yes, yes. Well, and you and I, have, you and I have known each other a while. I've, I've been uh, lucky enough to work with Safe Place on Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. And one of the things you guys always say: domestic violence is not a women's issue. Correct, correct. It doesn't just impact women. We all have uh, sisters. We all have mothers. We all have daughters. So um, you know, it really impacts the whole community and, and the entire family. Yeah, and that's something I think uh, you know. Some of these these NFL players that are somehow in this in this sports culture or in this this macho kind of culture this this gets to be okay somehow and it and it's really not and it's not the women's fault by any means yep that's right mm-hmm. it uh, it's interesting because that is usually one of the first questions i'm asked uh, you know when people find out what i do is why didn't she just leave if it were me i'd have thrown him out and changed the lock so it's very easy for us to think we can put ourselves in the, in the victim's shoes but it's a really, really complicated issue. Um, it's not so easy to leave. And actually, that's the wrong question. Um, you know, at, at least in the Rice case, it's not illegal to get in an elevator with someone. It's not illegal to love and marry somebody. It is illegal to punch them in the face. That's a very good point. As we're talking this morning with Jennifer Fatma, the executive director of Safe Place in uh, Battle Creek. And that's what you guys do. You guys uh, help shelter the women who, uh, who need to get out of situations like that. And... Um, it's a great fundraising event that you guys have coming up, and, and part of the reason I thought to call you was when people watch this and people who have seen the, the elevator incident, uh, me included, just, just floored by that. It was, it's incredible to see. And I'm wondering, what can I do? People are, are wondering what they can do, and there is something. Absolutely. You know, this really is one of my most favorite events because it was our male allies who said, we want to do this for you. So it's called Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. Um, actually, they take place all over the country. Ours is going to be October 11 at Lakeview Square Mall. And what happens is men, and we love teams, uh, police officers, fire departments, any, any workplace team, to come and you walk one mile, which is two laps around the mall, in women's high heel shoes. And we supply the shoes. So most people get pledges or, or just you know, pay a certain amount to walk. And, and not only does it help us do our work, but it's a great way to show your support. Um, you know, for, for women's issues and for safe place in particular. Uh, Jennifer, I got to tell you, that's, I swear that's more than a mile. There are times <laughs> when it seemed like that was <laughs> it may eight feel miles. like it, but, but it's, it's only a mile. This is uh, an event that I've been lucky enough to be involved with the last few years. And it, it is, it's a lot of fun for, for guys to come on out for a day and try on the high heels and, uh, and, and really have some fun with this. Yeah, we give you the shoes. And we actually, uh, just a couple years ago, started a little 5K before the walk. Uh, that's for anyone. And, of course, you wear your sneakers for that. But we had so many, we had just as many women coming to cheer on and support uh, the men walking. Uh, you know, they said, what can we do? So sometimes the women will walk that mile next to the men in their lives and their sons and children. And other times they'll go out and run. So the run is for men and women, um, a 5K uh, that will happen. Same thing, it's outdoors around the mall and in the community there uh, before the walk takes place. Fantastic. We've got all the links to all the sign-up information and, uh, and some great pictures, too, from past events at greatcountry1025.com. I'm sure there's a few of them of you in there. <laughs> there may be. There Your may listeners be. might be surprised to, to see you in, in those heels. Well, listen, Jennifer, thank you for, uh, for everything uh, that you guys do at Safe Place uh, to, to uh, help with this issue. And, again, it's something that's in the front pages, and, and a lot of people are talking about this. This is a great opportunity for people to do something. Exactly. Exactly, yes. It's our honor to serve domestic violence victims. It's Jennifer Fatma, the Executive Director for Safe Place with Walk a Mile in Her Shoes, coming up, and I will be there again this year in wedges, not heels. Okay. (laughs) On 1025 Kalamazoo's Country.